Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily tarot. So today we're taking a look at doing a love reading. So I'm going to pull the cards and we'll just find out whatever comes out for you guys, okay? Um, also, you have to use your own discernment, okay? Don't force fit anything to fit with your situation, right? Discernment, discernment, discernment. Right, so let's start pulling the cards. I think we'll ask... What are their thoughts when it comes down to you? So we'll take a look at that first. Thank you. The world. Okay. Um, so, I mean, they, they probably think that this is over. They probably think that you've moved on. I'm going to need more information, though, please. More information. It's this one here. The three of cups, yeah. So they definitely, okay, we've gone from we think to, yeah, they, they definitely, they, they're certain that, that you've moved on, okay, that the chapter is closed. You've closed the chapter with them, uh, that, you've mo <laughs> that you've moved on with someone new with this world and the three of cups. Um, they also think that you're doing really well. They think that you're really happy at the moment. Probably happier away from whoever this person is. I don't, I don't know who they are. Uh, we don't have enough information on that yet. Um, I mean, they could be a fixed sign with the world coming out. That's uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. They could also be a Cancerian as well with the Three of Cups. Or you could be. You could be one of those signs. Again, just take it as it resonates. Um, they think that you're not going to go back on your decision as well. What's in their heart about you? The devil and the two of pentacles. So they're, oh, okay, they're obsessed with trying to get you to change your mind. Tell us more about this devil. I'll switch out again just for a minute so you can see that I am actually shuffling your cards, okay? It's just with my new table layout. Um, I keep remembering that you can't always see the cards being shuffled. What's going on with that devil? Two of Wands off-center. Yeah, changed mind. In their heart, they're, they're literally... And this, it is unhealthy because it's the devil, okay? That's unhealthy energy. Um, in their heart, they, they convince themselves that they can get you to change your mind. Just tell us more about the devil. For their heart space, the devil again. You see what I mean? You could be a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, right? But you've got super, super heavy Capricorn energy coming out with the Devil twice and the Two of Coins. They're all Capricorn cards, all Capricorn energies. Um, I think that this is more to do with obsessive behavior, though. To be honest with you, I genuinely do. And you've got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Unhealthy. Yeah, nine of wands reversed again. Reinforcing about your boundaries. So whoever this person is that's in love with you, they're, they're approaching the situation completely wrong. And I think that that's been the entire problem. It's been the entire problem because they're, they're not respecting your own boundaries. Nine of wands reversed. In their heart, they're going, yeah, I, I can get you to change your mind. I can convince you to change your mind. I can get you to go back on the decision that you've made here. Okay. That's what's in their heart. What is it that they're hiding, please? What is it that they're hiding? Okay. The tower. Nine of Wands, the Magician, and the Tower. Um, they're hiding the fact that they have issues with control. 
They have issues when they feel that they're not in control. And they certainly do become destructive with that tower. And the reason why I'm saying destructive, because it came out with the magician, right? Magician, that's someone who is orchestrating a situation, yeah? What they're hiding from you, or what they kept hidden from you, was they orchestrated something being destroyed with that tower. They were responsible for something being destroyed. This is tower. Thank you. Now, there, there was a bit of a stutter that came from the deck there. They came out initially in the upright position, and then they finally decided on reversals. Okay, it's the Queen of Wands reversed and the Temperance card reversed for the tower. Teaching you a lesson. They, they wanted to try and teach you a lesson. So they absolutely do have issues with control. They really, really do have issues with control. And you were uncontrollable. So they've tried to teach you a lesson here by destroying something of yours. It could have been an opportunity. It could have been something that you were working on. It could have been another relationship with another person. Take it as it resonates. But ultimately, this individual, and you're going to know in your guts who this person is. It's not going to be any surprise to you at all. But they were at the back of all of this destruction. All of it. To try and teach you a lesson. Almost like a reminder that they're the ones that are in control. When we all know the truth is actually, no, they lost control. They lost control the minute that they did that. They actually lost control completely. What is their intent towards our collective, please? Thank you. The Queen of Wands, you see? You're going from the Queen of Wands reversed to the Queen of Wands in the upright position. So this person intends on flaunting, flaunting another individual in front of you to try and make you feel some kind of way, to try and make you feel jealous. Again, to try and teach you a lesson. Like, that, I think that's going to be the title for this read because that's the strongest message that's coming out. The emphasis that this other person is putting on teaching you a lesson. Their intent is to flaunt another individual around you, in front of you, to try and pull up these feelings of jealousy. Look, look, look at me, you know. You, you've lost me now. It's really childish. Really, really childish. Look at what you could have had with me. Yeah? It's all bullshit. Buy the coins. They're deeply, deeply unhappy. It, it, they're deeply dissatisfied with their lot in life. The five of coins is lack mentality. It's coming from a place of not enough. This person's intent towards you is to make you feel like you're not good enough. Because that is how you accidentally made them feel. You inadvertently made them feel like they were not good enough. And you know what? Going by their behavior and their reactions, actually, no, they're not good enough for you. They're not good enough for anybody. You want to know why? Because clearly they are incapable of figuring out consequences for stuff. They haven't done that inner work on themselves because they seem to think that this sort of behavior is quote unquote okay. They, they seem to feel entitled to do that to other people. So guess what? Because of that, no, they're not good enough for you. And no, they're not actually good enough for anybody else. Because no one else deserves that either. 
You accidentally and inadvertently made them feel like they weren't good enough. And their whole thing here has been to try and teach you a lesson. What actions will they take? Thank you. Eight of Wands. They're coming right at you. Eight of Wands. And that's like moving quickly as well. But I'm also, I'm not convinced that there's any thought that's gone behind this particular action. Can you elaborate on this action? So they are taking action towards our collective. But what action? Thank you. Four of Wands. Are you kidding me? That's a proposal. Eight of Wands to the Four of Wands, that's a proposal. And it's towards you. And this is going to happen soon. I'm going to hold this card up real close to the camera so that you can see. Now, I did wonder why this deck wanted to come out. It's not come out in a few weeks. You got pumpkins there. Which means that this is going to happen soon. And you've got like the scene is like a photograph of a party that's going on. So I'll tell you, there's one of two things. The first thing being um, proposing to you or proposing something to you completely out of the blue, completely unexpectedly. Or, or they've got a historical photograph, an old photograph, yeah, with you and them in that photograph, and they were going to be sharing it. Oh, look what popped up on my timeline. Oh, look what popped up on my memories. It didn't pop up at all. It's a new upload. It's a fresh upload. It's basically to try and get your attention. Okay. It's these shared memories of the past. That's why that photograph is in black and white. It's also possible that this individual has a stylized black and white photograph of you that they've printed off. Can you elaborate further, please? And they're sending it to someone. Or they're having someone else send them photographs of you. Yeah, King of Wands in the reversed position. That is not a nice energy. That's someone who is easily... Um, they, they become jealous really, really easy. A King of Wands in reverse, that's also someone who's lazy. And look, you've got the Queen and now the King of Wands in the reversed position. Both reversed. They could also be um, getting engaged to the person that they're showing off with. But they're not going to follow through with that engagement, do you know what I mean? So it's like getting engaged to someone else but not actually ever marrying them. Because it's all to do with status and making a statement with a King of Wands in the reverse, making a point. But th there's no substance behind them, there's no action behind it because they're too damn lazy. Do you know what I mean? So it's like empty promises and, and future faking and, you know, embellishing, embellishing on how good stuff is right now. It, it, it's all just bullshit. In the olden days, I do believe that they would have described a person like that as being all fur coat and no knickers. What's your advice for our collective here, please? Four of Swords, ignore them. That's literally your advice. Ignore them. Don't bother looking at what it is that they're posting. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Your advice is to focus on your own future here. 
and to see to see the BS for exactly what it is. Okay. Your advice is to spend more time with your with your family, with your loved ones, with those whose company you enjoy. Okay. And everything else that this lot's doing over here, ignore them. That's literally your advice in a nutshell. It's at the bottom of the deck, the Six of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in your love energies, it's definitely someone from your past. Okay. Because you've got the card of nostalgia here that's the overall energy. You've got to keep things real. Yeah. Eight of Swords immediately underneath that. And then the Wheel of Fortune. So consider yourself lucky. Consider yourself lucky that you're no longer this person's emotional prisoner. Consider yourself lucky that you have moved on or you will be able to move on. And you've got death underneath that one that just puts a finer point on that message that I literally just give you. Okay. Times have changed. Times are moving on. And for the most part, yes, you absolutely have moved on with the times. It's this individual that, that is keeping this metaphorical hold over you. Okay. So your advice is, look, don't, don't look at what it is that they're doing. Don't focus on what it is that they're doing. Spend time with your loved ones. Ignore them. Ignore the BS. Ignore the drama. What else for our collective, please? What else for our collective? Whoa. Okay, so you've got two. Two of them I want to come out. Uh, the first one is Christos or Christos. You are eternally loved and held within the palm of creation. Feel my presence beside you, my dear friend, for I am always with you. You're always in my heart. Hmm. So the first message is you are part of divine creation and that you're never alone. Okay. You're never alone. You are loved. You are also loved by those beyond the veil. And then the second message that I'm getting for this one for some is this individual's obsessive behavior towards you, their inability to release you, to let you go. They're saying, I will always love you. But the problem is their version of love is not healthy like their, their love language is not healthy and that's a concern and then you've got flame of love as well allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions yet stand tall in your sense of self and your own truth the healing power of love will help you burn through all illusion and you will discover new possibilities this is a powerful time of transformation ideas and creativity okay so if you feel that you're stuck on this unhealthy individual if you feel that there is no way that you're ever going to be able to uh, heal and move on from this unhealthy person's influence spirit's telling you here loud and clear that you will be able to okay and that's the second time that they've actually given you that message. It's time for you to discover new possibilities, okay? Uh, stand tall in your own sense of worth, right? Your worth and your value is not dictated by the way that someone else treats you. Simple as, okay? So definitely do keep that in mind. Also, if you're single, then it's incredibly likely that you are going to meet a healthy individual and you will fall in love with a healthy individual. Okay. The flame of love. Everything that you do, do it from a place of love. Do it from a place of good intent. 
Right, what else? For our collective, please. Oh yeah, I do need to give the warning because not everybody's going to be aware. Um, I like to use naughty decks at the end of the read. So, you know, decks that have got swearing in, decks that have got sarcasm in, you know, decks that just basically take the mick a bit, okay? Um, just to uplift the energy at the end of the read. So if you're not into if you're not into that sort of thing, then you just don't have to listen. Okay. The teetering Rex. I'm on the edge. Okay. So it says we all teeter occasionally. Sometimes we're unsure of ourselves and our decisions. So we pause waiting for a confirmation that it's the right thing. Sometimes we dread what's coming, so we stay stuck. Other times we feel that we're teetering on greatness. Teeter away, you daft sod, it makes no difference. Teetering, teetering on the edge. Um feeling maybe a little bit triggered okay and that would stand to reason actually because this individual is clearly and deliberately trying to trigger you trying to trigger a reaction out of you so if you feel that you're teetering on the edge you feel that you're about to lose control of your own actions try and reel it back in again okay don't stay stuck whatever you do definitely don't stay stuck and it's time for you to be more sure of yourself more sure that you have done the right thing here by splitting from this person disconnecting from this person okay you you could be teetering on the verge of oh did did i do the right thing did i make the right move did i make the right decision you know, again, all because of how this person is trying to make you feel, okay? Again, it's vital that you don't go back on the decision that you've already made in regards to this. And again, do keep in mind as well, all of the drama and the chaos and the trouble that you've had with other people, it was actually this person that was orchestrating it all. They were orchestrating it all behind your back the whole time as a way to try and control you and quote unquote teach you a lesson so what kind of person does that yeah so if you find yourself teetering maybe even feeling a bit tempted maybe in a in a moment of madness or a moment of weakness to go back to them or or to you know try again with them let less let bygones be bygones type thing yeah be really cautious of that, okay? Don't ever forget what this individual's done and what they're still doing, by all accounts. It, it is genuinely time to move on here. Definitely. Um, I wonder, yeah, let's pull you. Uh, we'll ask, what is it our collective is supposed to be focused on right now please in love but is it our collectives thank you specificity that is quite difficult to say specificity uh, the universe can only give you what you ask for so narrow it down and be as specific as feels good okay so manifesting when you're manifesting you're needing to be specific okay being specific matters when you're putting your intent out into the universe mayhem your manifestation is happening. Couldn't issue reveals past wound. Spiritual growth and hang tight. Yeah. And see how it's a circle? Looks like a vicious circle, doesn't it? It's like a vicious circle between yourself and this individual. Um, hang tight. Okay. Don't fall into the trap of believing that this person is treating the individual that they're currently showing off with any better than how they treated you right that can be really tempting to believe and the truth is actually the the new one that they're kicking about with they're actually getting it 10 20 30 40 times worse than what you did okay 
it's time to end this cycle of destruction and again with this person um, basically trying to trigger you is right there and write it down the universe has received your order know and feel that it's yours or is done writing things brings into physical form yeah so, so writing down the things, the positive things that you're trying to create in your life. That's where your focus needs to be right now. You could also write down your experiences with this person, your frustrations with this person, but keep it safe somewhere. Okay, you don't have to send it to them. In fact, it's not advised to send it to them. But there's also nothing wrong with writing them a letter and never actually sending it. Okay. Because you, you've got to focus on manifesting abundance and positivity into your own life. Okay. What else? Can you tell us for our collective here, please? Whoa. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, so they've thought about contacting you directly, but they are also a little bit scared of you as well. Maybe they should be. I feel you even though we're apart. So they are pulling on your energy, and I hope that you can forgive me one day, and I am becoming a better person. Well, you should be the judge of that one, yeah. If they're convincing you that they have become a better person, then they have to prove that by putting in that consistent effort. Otherwise, they're just full of shit. Okay. But it certainly indicates to me that they're convincing themselves, if nothing else, that they're becoming or have become a better person than who they were when they were with you and destroying shit here behind your back destroying friendships and connections and relationships and job opportunities and careers and do you know what i mean destroying other people's perceptions of you and the list goes on basically trying to isolate you away from everyone else as their way to sort of dominate over you okay But yeah, that is what I have for you. I genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful for someone. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it and you want to see more. The information on how you can book a personal reading with me, that can be found in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.